Welcome to Books and Storytime by MyBookSummary.com. Let's explore Whispers of the Hidden Village, a timeless love story. About 10 years ago, I found myself suffocated by the scorching heat of the city during the summer months. Longing for a change of scenery, I decided to embark on an adventure into the countryside. Armed with my trusty little red car and a map, I drove through the night, excited to escape into nature's embrace. The summer that year was breathtaking, with lush greenery and a vibrant blue sky welcoming me. However, as I cruised along a quiet country road, my car suddenly jerked and stalled. Confused, I quickly realized I was out of petrol. Oh no, I must find a town, I thought, glancing at the map, only to discover I was utterly lost. Just when I began to feel despair creeping in, I noticed a girl walking down the road. She held a bouquet of wildflowers and wore a flowing, colorful dress that fluttered in the breeze. Her long, sun-kissed hair sparkled in the sunlight, and I couldn't help but be captivated. Hello, I called out, stepping out of my car. I'm lost. Can you help me? The girl, who seemed startled at first, smiled gently. I can help. My name is Lily. Let's go to my village. Perhaps we can figure this out together. I felt a surge of hope and happily followed her. Lily led me to a quaint village nestled between rolling hills. The houses were charming, painted in bright colors, and the streets were lined with flowers. As we strolled, I noticed people tending to animals and cooking over open fires. This place is magical, I thought, but I also felt a sense of curiosity and confusion about their way of life. When we arrived at her home, her family welcomed me warmly. They served me a delicious meal cooked over a wood fire, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. As we chatted, I asked about petrol only to find that they didn't understand what I was talking about. We travel by horse, Lily explained with a laugh. Cars are a rarity here. As the sun began to set, Lily and I wandered into her garden, surrounded by the sweet scent of blooming flowers. I was drawn to her spirit and kindness, but soon I noticed a sadness in her eyes. Why do you look so down? I asked gently. I have to tell you something, she replied, her voice trembling. You can't stay here. It's dangerous for you. I felt my heart sink. But I want to stay, I insisted. I care about you, Lily. I'll find petrol and come back. She shook her head, sadness written all over her face. If you don't leave before morning, you may never find your way back. That night, as the clock struck midnight, I reluctantly made my way back to town. After filling my tank, I inquired about the village but was met with puzzled stares. That village doesn't exist anymore, a mechanic told me, his face serious. A tragic fire destroyed it long ago. My heart raced as I recalled the warmth of Lily's family and the joy I felt there. There's a story, he continued, that the village reappears once every decade but only for one day. After that, it vanishes again. My mind raced with the implications of what he said. It was true, I had been warned to leave. Feeling lost and empty, I searched the countryside for Lily's village, but it was gone, replaced by trees and whispers of the wind. I sat on the ground, tears flowing as I mourned the love I had barely discovered. Yet deep inside, a glimmer of hope remained. In just two months, the village would return. I will find you again, Lily, I vowed silently. I knew I would not leave before morning this time. Our love, no matter how fleeting, was worth waiting for. I could still feel her presence, the magic of that day etched in my heart, and I was determined to reunite with her in that enchanted village, wherever it may appear. Stay tuned for more enlightening content. Head over to www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share the magic with friends. And let's grow together through the power of books and interesting stories.